Welcome back guys, in this video we are going to model the rear wing of the Williams uh, car I already started So let's go, this first video and all of them are going to be, I can say, easy and not too long So don't hesitate to model this thing We make new parts and we are going to start by making the right plane sketch It's going to be rectangle by two points somewhere like that now dimensions are next 643 the height is gonna be 645 from the origin uh, to this line vertically we have 980 and from this line to origin horizontally we have 2465 so that's the main uh, sketch for this wing we go out of the sketch and we use extruded bus now pay attention here we go from offset and offset this by 375 to this side and then switch direction 1 to reverse direction to this uh, direction and the length is 10 make sure that these are millimeters in these parts okay and let's save this as tutorial rear wing Okay, another simple sketch, so we go to this face. Let's use right plane actually. Right plane and draw one line going from this edge to the left. And now we need two point spline from the point to the edge. And let's also close this loop by converting these two edges and trim out these two pieces now the dimensions are next 245 here and here we have uh, what the hell okay 147.5 let me just view my sketch so 125 here and let's make the this left i mean right uh, handle of the spline uh, horizontal and this left one should be vertical dimensions for both of them are next 180 here and on the right one we have 150 so that's the first cutting done just make sure it goes all the way through the part click enter and that's it save the work and let's continue to my next sketch it's again gonna be one cutting just less simple than this one right plane sketch and let's draw a few lines here so first one goes like this make sure it's vertical and the second one goes from this point straight down between we have one spline by one two three points drag this point up okay now let's add some dimensions 140 is this line from this point to this edge we have 320 from left edge to this line we have 180 and from this point to this edge we have 47.5 we are not done yet let me just check everything okay so vertically from this point to this edge we have 112.5 and what's left okay now let's just fix all these handles of the spline so this top one 
should be let's just find it first should be vertical the middle one should also be vertical and this one should go down just a touch okay now the distance for this one is gonna be 360 I can see that we are having a problem with this plane so I'm gonna undo this dragging a few times until we came to the to this part okay that as you can see the spline is now looking uh, healthy so let's first drag actually this middle handle and make it like this a vertical okay now the bottom one should go down and this one should go down and now the relation vertical here we have it already and here we're gonna add angle the angle is gonna be between this edge and the handle is gonna be 4. Make sure that you use this direction, not the opposite. Now distance here, like I said, 360. Here we have 320. And on this one we have 300. So that's it, let's just close the loop by adding few edges, like this. Okay, let's just add some, mm, some dimensions to make the sketch fully defined. Okay, and that's the cutting done, like we made previously, it's gonna be also through all okay that's the second cutting done and now we have to do this plate is almost done so as you can see the main shape of the of it it's done now we have to use mirror bodies to mirror this body over the right plane and deselect merge solids if it's selected okay save the progress and for this first video we have to do only one thing left and that's all so go to right plane sketch and let's draw one two three four center lines so we go like this one two three and four and make sure that all of these are vertical and horizontal don't make narrow lines okay so i forgot to put the dimensions in so give me a few seconds i'm back with dimensions so we go like this from the origin to this line horizontally we have Two 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 zero till this one we have two one five zero to the top line from the origin we have eight I'm sorry nine eight five and till this one we have eight hundred fifty as you can see it's all set and now we can draw the small DRS wing in this profile now for a start let's make two cycles somewhere in inside of this rectangle and let's make them both tangent like this the top one is gonna be tangent with this line and this line and the bottom one is gonna be in this corner so tangent with this line and this line the diameters are next 2.5 for the top one and 5 for bottom cycle in the end we're gonna need two splines so one no let's just draw uh, one spline and then second one this first one is gonna be by two points so let's connect the point here with the cycle and same here 
Let's add some dimensions to this plane by dragging the handle left and the right. So the top handle is going to be 250 and the bottom one is going to be 65. Angle for the bottom uh, handle is going to be between this center line and the handle 5 and for bottom one between the same center line we have 20. What's left to do, to do is to make these two tangents and same here. Okay and second spline also by 2.12 and do the same like previously. By dragging these points onto the cycle we are making their coincident relation between the point of the spline and the cycle. Again drag the handles something like this. And dimensions are these. Angle between center line and handle so one and on the top we have between this center line and the handle 15 degrees. Distance 170 and distance here is 50. Also what's left to be done is to make them tangent. And sketches as you can see fully defined we can get out and do the extruded bus with one node here. So select the contours and select cycle, mid profile and top cycle. There is a good reason why I'm not trimming this sketch. So the distance is 370, 370 and direction 1 is gonna be mid plane sorry this should be 730 it's my bad and do not merge result we don't want to have I think we don't want to have these bodies connected click OK and that's it so that was all for this video I hope I didn't fuck up everything so that we are gonna have to uh, examine this wing, wing later and uh, fix some errors I think everything is fine and we can proceed with the next video that should be also uploaded very soon I hope you enjoyed it and see ya in my next one